President-elect Tsai Ing-wen's new administration has refuted China's contention that Taiwan's attendance at the upcoming World Health Assembly Conference take place under the framework of the One China Principle. Former Health Minister Yang Zhiliang came out in support of the government's decision to attend, saying that it is the only way to give Taiwan's voice about this mistreatment. The invitation letter from the WHO Secretariat cited the One China Principle with reference to UN Resolution 2758. We don't believe there is any connection between this and Taiwan's attendance at the WHA. We won't be absent at the upcoming meeting of the WHA, and we will send Health Minister Designate Lin Zuoyan as the head of our delegation. Spokesperson for the incoming cabinet, Tong Zhenyuan, released a statement outlining the new government's position, including its firm opposition to the One China Principle, and announcing that the incoming health minister would lead a team of 20 to the talks. Diplomatic officers also said that the addition of a reference to the One China policy in the WHA invitation was a clear attempt to diminish Taiwan's sovereignty. Former Health Minister Yang, who led his own delegation to the Assembly in 2010, emphasized that the new government should raise objections to its mistreatment. China is deliberately trying to degrade Taiwan. Although it's an injustice, attendance is the only way to reinforce our international presence. If we don't go, it will be even harder to secure our participation in other international organizations. A report by the National Security Bureau has highlighted the biggest difference in this year's invitation from last year's is its explicit mention of UN Resolution 2758 and the One China Principle, and its naming of sitting Health Minister Jiang Binhuang as the individual expected to lead Taiwan's delegation.